Soldier, dictator, drug trafficker and spy, Manuel Noriega lived a truly extraordinary life. He was born into poverty in Panama City, and after losing his mother at a young age and being abandoned by his alcoholic father, he was awarded a scholarship at one of the top high schools in the country. It was at the Chorilos Military School that he was first recruited by the CIA. He received training in the US and agreed to spy for them. Back in Panama, he succeeded in gaining the confidence of General Omar Torrijos, who took power in a 1968 military coup. Noriega was instrumental in defeating a later coup attempt against Torrijos and for his loyalty was named Chief of Military Intelligence. He used his position to intimidate and threaten opposition groups and by the late 1970s was considered the most feared man in Panama. Throughout this time he maintained ties with successive US administrations and helped them fight against the communist regimes in Cuba and Nicaragua. Meanwhile, there were persistent rumors that he was actively participating in the drugs trade and was close to Colombian kingpin Pablo Escobar. When Omar Torrijos died in a plane crash in 1981, Noriega tussled with others to lead the country, eventually succeeding in 1983. His military regime lasted five years until his relationship with the US soured. In 1989, it sent in nearly 28,000 troops to seize Panama City and capture him. The former dictator would spend the rest of his life behind bars. Firstly in the US where he served 17 years in prison for crimes including cocaine trafficking. Then in 2010 he was extradited to France to be sentenced for money laundering but served just over a year before being sent back to Panama to answer for crimes committed during his rule including the murder of a political opponent.